what's going on guys, Card Mechanic here, and today I'm going to be showing you a magic trick that you could do using your phone's calculator. Let's get into it. Okay, so now in order to do this calculator magic trick, you are going to need a smart, some kind of smartphone with a calculator app on it, which I have here. And to make it a bit fancier, you could use either post-it notes, some kind of paper, and of course a pencil to write down your prediction. And you'll see what kind of prediction I write down in a second. Now, uh, this is actually my second time recording this video because the first time I wrote the prediction down on this post-it note, and then while watching the video back, I realized I could not see what I wrote down. So, I'm gonna write down my prediction on the screen. So you should see my prediction come up on the screen now. And now, now you see the prediction on the screen, here's what we're gonna do. Of course, I'm gonna open up my calculator app. And now we're just gonna have three random numbers just said by, picked by any random three spectators. So let's say the first spectator says um, 422. So we'll go 422. Uh, let's just say another one says um, 194. So we do times. We'll do 194. And let's just do one more number. So times, let's say um, 283. So we go 283 and we click that equals button and we get exactly what my prediction was 13,467,982 now I know that wasn't the greatest performance and this trick is actually done much better live than you know through video so here's what's gonna happen when you're actually performing this trick for people I like to go with you know some kind of paper or envelope or you know something that I can you know something physical I can write a prediction down on and then of course the pencil to actually write my prediction now, of course, I like to write my prediction in front of the people so they know it's genuine and that I'm not, you know, preparing anything before the trick starts. So that's a really good thing to have. And I tell the spectator, in a minute, I'm going to have you guys give me three three-digit numbers that we're all going to multiply together. And I'm going to write down that prediction on this piece of paper. So I write down my prediction, whatever it is. I fold it up. If I have an envelope, I put it in an envelope. If I don't, then I give it to someone, tell them to put it in their pocket, you know, something, something really cool and mysterious. So let's just say the prediction is done. And of course, the number that you show the spectator in the end, I don't know if I said this before, but the number you show the spectator in the end is not the actual product of the three numbers that are multiplied together. This, the number that you're gonna be showing when you click that equal button is a number you have memorized in advance. So let me tell you how to set that up on the calculator. Okay, so we open up our calculator app and let's just pick a random number that you, you can remember. And the way I do it is, I usually do one, three, four, six, seven, nine, eight, two. Uh, the pattern is just really easy to remember for me, just boop, 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 eight, two. So that's fairly easy for me to remember and that number just comes up right here. So this is the first thing you do when you open up the calculator, clear everything, put that number in. Now the next thing you're going to have to do, and uh, this, this is very key right now, you click the plus button, okay, click the plus button, you do plus zero times zero. So this way, when you open up, right, so now you can close the app. So at this point, you're pretty much prepared, right? You. Now, of course, this has to be done before you're actually showing it to the spectator. So now, of course, again, going one more time, you do the introduction to the spectator, you write down your prediction, fold it up, give it to them, whatever you want to do. Now, now the, since the phone is set up, you're going to take out the already pre-set up phone. This has to be done before. I guess you can do it at the same time that way you're in front of them also. It's just either you have to use a bit more diversion. So now, of course, we have that. We have it all set up. And now we ask the spectators to give us a couple random numbers. So let's just say they give us one, two, three. So we type in one, two, three times uh, four, five, six times seven, eight, nine. And we do it equals and we get the exact number that we had memorized. So let me actually do that one more time. Put that number in, right? That number 
plus zero times zero. And then we just do times, even if I do like some huge number, right? This is like a nine digit number. I do times nine times nine. And I'm still gonna get uh, my original number that I had put. So it's really cool how this works. Uh, I'm gonna be explaining now how the math works behind this if you guys are interested, but if not, that is pretty much all it takes. You show, you know, you do all this stuff, have, the, have everything preset. All right, just quick walkthrough. Preset, go to them, explain what's going on, write down the prediction, give it to them. Ask the spectators for 300 numbers, put 300 numbers in, multiply them, click the equal button, show them that's the number, and now take out the piece of paper in your pocket, open up the envelope, whatever it is, and you can see that that was my prediction. And their minds are blown, they're dying, whatever happens, happens. And that is a trick, it gets some amazing results. So that's a very quick run through, I uh, hope that was helpful. And now if you guys wanna know the math behind this, um, of course I can't, yeah I can't use this. So I'll show you on the screen. So of course now we have a preset number, let's just call it uh, 10. So we have a preset number of 10. If we do 10 plus zero, we're obviously gonna get zero. Now zero times any other numbers are, is you know, and the product ends up being zero. So what we're doing is we're doing 10 plus zero times, you know, 200, 300, 400. Now the zero times 200, 300, 400, all of that would become zero. And then the 10 plus zero, of course, leaves us with 10. So that is a quick math behind it. Yeah, that's all there really is to it. So go out and try this trick out. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I like doing you know different stuff on Friday. So if you have any other ideas for you know what I can do for my Friday videos, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out my social media links down in the description below. And I'll see you in my next video. Welcome to the end screen. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe because subscribing is good. Thanks for watching.